Well, I didn't get to get done everything I wanted to get done today. And that's partly because I'm lazy, but that's also partly because I've been doing some testing. Hello everyone, and welcome to... Sunday? Yeah. Must be. Welcome to November. Um... I didn't get to release all the vlogs that I had hoped to do today. I'll probably get around to doing them tomorrow. Um, but I did get a little bit of recording done, if you will. Uh, me and Alex played a little bit of Left 4 Dead 2, uh, mostly versus mode, so I didn't spoil myself too badly on, uh, on the campaign. But, um... I've been doing a lot of testing by testing um, recording software. I know, I'm not going to say I know, but I figure pretty much by this point that NVIDIA Shadow Play is going to work when I need it to. However, it doesn't work 100% the way I need it to, if you know what I mean. It doesn't have all the options that I need to... I need to be able to work with. Um, there are ways around that, but I'm going. I'm trying. I'm trying to look for a, a specific um, recording software that will cover all of my needs, so to speak. Um, so, after testing Plague Claw a lot, after messing around with Freps a little bit. I've decided I'm going to go with DX Story. Mostly because while Fraps does, does it, it doesn't have the same problem that Play Claw does in that it tries to it I think it I think the problem with the the frame skipping that I've been having with Play Claw is mostly because I'm trying to do um, videos at too high of a uh, a frame uh, not a frame rate a uh, a data rate. I'm trying to encode. I'm trying to record, encode, and compress at a really high um, data rate. Which this is probably flying over a bunch of you guys' heads, but essentially I'm pushing my hard drive too hard. It, I'm trying to push too much information onto it, and it's just skipping, uh, or at least the recording is. So, but while, but while Fraps doesn't have that problem, it also doesn't have a lot of the customization that Playclaw and DX Story have. Uh, DX Story has a lot more customization than Playclaw has, and Playclaw has a lot more than Fraps does. Um, and I think all three of them have more customization than, uh, Shadow Play does, but it, it works with my, it works specifically with my graphics card, so I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna do, do me right if I, if I absolutely, absolutely need something to work. So, in the next few days, I may very well buy, um... DX story and hopefully by Thursday I'll be able to get around to actually recording something <laughs> hopefully I can't believe it's taking me this long but oh well tomorrow is another day I suppose and no that's not that, that is technically a reference to Five Nights at Freddy's 4 but um, that's not like saying I'm I'm about to do Five Nights at Freddy's Four for no reason in particular. No, um, though I, w I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind playing through the entire Five Nights at Freddy's series just because I, I love the story behind it. It's incredibly engrossing, incredibly mysterious. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go to bed. Because it's 5.15 in the morning, but 
you know what? <laughs> I need to get back in the back in the habit of staying up pretty late. Um, simply because I stay up to like eight o'clock in the morning uh, when I work. So yeah, I'm slowly day by day weeding myself back to staying awake pretty late. That's fun. Anyway, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Until tomorrow, I'll see you all later.